Hello everyone, this is Teacher Gon. Let's talk about converting fractions to decimals. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here is the topic wherein we will convert these fractions into its decimal form. So how do we do that? Basically, what we need to do is to just divide the numerator by the denominator. So what we have here is 1 over 5. Here, this is your numerator, 1. And now we will place it here inside this division box, 1. And we will divide 1 using our denominator. So we will place it here. In this case, this is your dividend and this is your divisor. So let's divide 1 by 5. So 1 divided by 5 is cannot be because there's no such 5 inside 1. So now we will place a decimal here and we will add 0 and also in our numerator point. Okay, so right now we have 10. 10 divided by 5, how many 5s do we have in 10? We have 2. 2 sets of 5. Then we will multiply 2 and 5. The answer is 10. Then after that, we will subtract 10 minus 10. The answer is 0. If this is 0, automatically we have our answer. Okay? Meaning, this 1 over 5 is simply equal to 0. Point two. This is the final answer. Now let's proceed with item number two, which is the three fourths. So now your numerator here is the three, your denominator is the four. So we will divide the numerator three by the denominator, which is four. So let's see. Three divided by four is cannot be. So same step or process, we will add decimal and zero here, decimal here. So right now we have 30, 30 divided by 4. Or in other words, how many 4s do we have in 30? Okay, very good. We have 7 4s. So we have here 7, then we will multiply 7 times 4, that would be equal to 28. And as for this, we will subtract it. So we will borrow 1 from here. This is 2. This will become 10. 10 minus 8, that would be equal to 2. And then 2 minus 2 is 0. But right now, we still have number here. So we will add another 0 here and bring down 0. Right now, we have 20 divided by 4. How many 4s do we have? So we have 5. So 5 times 4, that is equal to 20. So subtract, the answer is 0. As you can see, this is already 0, meaning this might be our answer. So we have 0 0.75. The equivalent decimal of 3 over 4 is 0 0.75. Now let's proceed with our next examples. So what we have here is the third and the fourth example. So we have 3 over 8. This is your numerator and this is your denominator. Let's divide 3 by 8. So as usual, this one is cannot be. So we will put a decimal here and also here. We will place a 0 here so we can divide this to 8. 30 divided by 8, how many 8s do we have in 30? We have 3, okay? So, for you to see, we have to write it here, 3, so 3, then multiply 3 times 8, that would be 24. So, right now, subtract this, carry 1, borrow tidy to no 1, so 10 minus 4, that would be 6. And this is zero. So as you can see, we still have a number here. So what we're gonna do is to put another zero here and then bring down 
this zero. 60 divided by 8? Think about it. How many 8s do we have in 60? Okay. We have how many? We have 7. Then 7 times 8, the answer is 56. So we will subtract. Carry 1. Barrow tied it in 1. 10 divided by 10 minus 6, rather, is 4. And this is 0. So we still have a number here. Meaning, what we need to do, I will adjust the paper first. I will add another 0 here. Then bring down 0. So right now, we have 40 divided by 8, which is equal to 5. 5 times 8, that would be equal to 40. Subtract the numbers. The answer is 0. As you can see, this is 0. So this is our answer. The value or the equivalent decimal of 3 over 8 is simply 0 0.3. Seven, five. Now you can pause the video for a while and you can try 7 over 10 and convert this into decimal. Okay, let's continue. We will divide the 7 using the denominator 10. So 7 divided by 10 is cannot be, so we will place a decimal here. And a decimal here, let's add 0. So let's divide 70 divided by 10, that would be 7. Then multiply this to this, that would be 70. So now subtract 70 divided by 70 is definitely 0. So we will stop here, meaning the decimal value of 7 over 10 is simply 0 0.7. So do you have any question? So as part of our routine, I will give you an example that you need to answer. We have, I will put 4 over 5 and 9 over 10. And let me know in our comment section what is your answer for this two given fraction. And you need to convert this into the decimal. So guys... That's all for today. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, if you have any question about it or any requested topic that you want me to discuss within this channel, feel free to comment down below. And it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat and bye-bye!